think it's time for a vlog and I'm gonna make some matcha and then come back and then we can do a little talk okay we sit I have my matcha in my really nice cup queen of fucking everything and I am in the mood of pink today so it's pretty hot <laughs> I wanted to talk with you guys and I actually want to tell you the process of being a stylist I didn't expect it to be this hard I knew it was a hard job but I man I didn't know it was that hard like I got close I work with a brand that I know and I've worked with them um, multiple times so it's like okay I can grab the clothes from there bring it back the same day uh, be very efficient because I don't want the clothes lying around in my apartment I don't have that much space we're still in a Parisian apartment so that's not working and I also wanted to find shoes I have shoes from Flatter they were so kindly to send free pair of shoes but I still don't know how to send them back so I will have to email them if they can send a return label or do I have to pay for that so we have a policy for sending the products but just send for the cost for the return label shit I, I don't know um, maybe in a one year when I see myself doing <laughs> this video I'm like you're so stupid you had to pay for that why didn't you expect to pay for that I don't know yet I don't know and um, I don't have any jewelry I don't think that's the main thing of the shoot so I'll just skip jewelry for now and I have bought two vintage bags because I actually expected to work with another brand that I've worked with multiple times um, already so I thought okay you know what I'll just email them and then I will get the bags girl I thought wrong so I didn't have any bags and I was thinking like maybe I should just use second-hand bags or maybe don't even use a bag because it was more about the pictures instead of really the clothing um, but then I went to a vintage store in Paris and oh I lost the bag I can show you the bag the her mask look like bag um, it's amazing it's, of course it has a flap I was looking for a new bag to go to school and also to um, work because I will start my internship in August and my bag that I always had broke down last year and I didn't really have a new bag that I also could you know close because we're still in Paris and yeah things get stolen so I found this vintage and then I found another very cute vintage bag and you know it doesn't have a strap or anything it's like really a children's bag but i think for the shoes we can really make this work so yeah it has some marks you know it's, you can see it's been used but i think it's kind of cute especially with the basket and i think parisian vibes are with baskets and this kind of gives a nice color to it so let's hope that these bags are enough for the shoot. I asked the model as well to bring a vintage bag. I don't have, I didn't bring any sustainable bags. The main mission of the shoot is to be sustainable. And I really thought that would be easier, but no. Because a lot of brands that I really like and would really have in this photo shoot um, are brands that um, are super small like that's only one person brand or one person that makes the clothes so it's been super hard to actually you know get those things and yeah I expect it to be a little bit easier to be a stylist but jokes on me but I don't care I think I managed I use some clothes of myself the clothes oh yeah i think i started talking about that the clothing brand that i asked to work with they said yeah it's all right to use like three outfits and then they cut down on the outfits because 
um, they won't be able to use the pictures this summer. So yeah, then I was with one outfit and I was like, where do I get new outfit from in like two days? Um, so I went into my own closet and got some sustainable things, like sustainable items that has been sent from brands or things that I bought. I hope the model fits because she is at least two meters and it's a little bit, you know, a little bit bigger, I think in shoulders than me, I'm not sure. So I really hope the things suit her and fit her and that it all work out. Oh my gosh, I get a headache from this. I also have to write my thesis, so it's not like I am not doing anything. It's like <laughs> so much going on at the same time and then planning holidays for the summer and it's all fun, but yeah. It's, it's a lot of things at the same time and I'm not, not very good at handling that especially after lockdown if it's getting too much I just like shut down so I will bring you along on Friday and let's see if everything works out at the shoot as I imagine, as I imagine it to be so stay tuned so I'm making the website with Wix, um, it's just a design. So it's called Panache Parisian Coffee Table Book. I just use this for picture. Um, so yeah, you can pre-order it here and then probably something with styling, how to style this, or maybe I want to have more like a bloggy kind of thing to show what sustainability sustainable fashion is or tech sustainable fashion brands or something like this and then basically that's it for now and yeah we of course have the stock list the instagram page um i i have to update this and of course the instagram page if you don't follow us please follow us i will link it down below um but yeah i think this page looks really nice and let me know what you think. A little thing I forgot to tell is that the mock-up, it's or the the page right now is just a ID of how I want it. And my boyfriend is a computer science guy, so he can actually develop the whole website just by codes, which is amazing. I mean, I can do it, so I'm super happy he can and um, that will be cheaper than buying it off from Wix because I have my other website uh, Velvet and Sapine from Wix and I pay at least like 250 every two years which for me is quite a lot of money since I'm still a student and have student debt so yeah that's the payoff I made to be a creative one and yeah, I hope you like the website. If the, if you're not, please give me some ideas to make it more attractive. And I hope you like the idea of a coffee table book with Parisian cliché, sustainable fashion and inclusive models colors. So stay tuned and I will bring you along. walking to the photo shoot uh, it's for me it's like 50 minutes by metro so let's go i am having all the stuff and the sun is shining so that's good so let's hope everything works out You're the model for today. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm Lena. I'm 26. I'm Parisian and uh, I also have a brand called Maison Soleil. If you want to check it out. I will check it. Perfect. 
and I'm like super happy to work with all these perfect, perfect ladies. people. Yes. Yeah. You want to introduce yourself too? <laughs> Hello, I'm Stella. I'm Italian makeup artist, and I'm here with, with a big pleasure to work with you girls. <laughs> And Super I'm nice so project. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nice. I can't Perfect. wait. I can't wait to shoot. Oh, Thank me you. too. Exactly. <laughs> today to bring back the clothes that I rented from Kind Studio for the shoot so yep a very sexy look because I'm going home tomorrow back to Germany so I already packed all my stuff I was so whole late yes uh, home I was so late home on Friday so I actually didn't have the time to bring back the clothes and the shoes so the clothes I have to do today it's Sunday by the way and the shoes I have to do ne um, tomorrow morning before I leave for from Germany so before I leave to go home It is around 8 and we have to bring back the package before I leave um, to go home. Uh, it opens at 8.30 so... It was 3 kilo, so guess it was 26 euro. It's a lot of money for such a small project, but okay. I guess I just called it an investment <laughs> to um, kind of get rid of the pain, but okay. I have my food, I have my water. I'm ready to go get back to the bus 10 hours it was a very productive two weeks and um, i will show you more of the whole project along the way so hope you follow and stay here so 